There is a systematic disconnect between bottom-up and top-down approaches to disaster risk reduction. Community-based projects often produce results at a small scale, and they're difficult to expand or replicate due to resource constraints. On the other hand, national, regional, and international policies and strategies often fail to consider community needs in local contexts, and therefore they lack specific implementation guidelines. Ready Asia Pacific, in collaboration with the University of Gajamada, the Pacific Disaster Center, and the University of Hawaii Social Science Research Institute, is developing an end-to-end -end framework that is intended to maximize the benefits and results on both sides, making national-level policies and strategies more meaningful and making their implementation more feasible at the community level. The case study that is being used for the collaboration is a landslide, community-based risk assessment and early warning system project that the University of Gajamada has implemented in central Java and Yogyakarta, Indonesia for the past several years. Uh, so before the landslide, there is a small landslide heaven over there, and then attack uh, some houses, and the local people work together to clean up the drainage system and the houses. And then the people who live nearby in the landslide location is moved, but in the, in the morning, at one in the morning, 1 p.m., the, the big landslide is happened from there and then attack six house, which is uh, causes 54 people die, which is eight is injured. We, we installed uh, this equipment at stable area and we got the stick over there uh, and then we connected the fixed point in that area to this equipment and if the landslide occur and then we'll uh, pull this this mechanical in this equipment and trigger the siren or the alarm. The project is unique for several reasons. First, the University of Gajamada engaged its engineering students to design equipment that was appropriate for the local conditions. Second, this, they engage social scientists to communicate the risks and project benefits to the community residents. And lastly, they teamed up the engineers and social scientists to manufacture the equipment locally and train community residents to maintain it. The project has been tested and it's been successful. It has saved lives and it enjoys broad support from community residents and local disaster managers. The goal is to investigate how the project results can be integrated into national level disaster information systems and how national level resources, information, and capabilities can flow down to the community. The result will be an end-to-end -end framework that can be applied in any context or for any hazard, making disaster risk reduction efforts at all levels more effective.